Hello, hello. Welcome back. I'm Alicia, otherwise known as Princess Glitterhead, and this is Glitterhead Dental Diaries, my online diary for everything related to my teeth and getting snap indentures at a somewhat early age. I was 34 when I got my snap-ins. They're on mini implants, and it will be two years, May of 2021. So I was 34 when I got them. I'm 36 now. And if you're in your thir your 20s, 30s, 40s, or 50s and you get dentures, I still think that's pretty young, personally. But then again, I needed my first partial when I was 21, second partial when I was 24, dentures by the time I was 34. But I always told myself back when I was in my 20s, if I could just make it till I was 35 before I needed dentures, I could handle it. So we got almost that far, about 34. But anyway, so today was my first implant cleaning. And if you've been following me recently, I've had some, uh, some of my implants have failed and the ones on top they thought was from an infection. So I was, they replaced them with four new ones. So I got four bigger sized minis on the top. And then I had one of my lower, the lower right one failed recently and he gave me two new ones, two bigger ones. So this appointment was the first checkup on those implants as well as my first implant cleaning. Um, and I guess the reason I didn't do an implant cleaning prob before this was probably because the first five months after E-Day, well, obviously you wouldn't really get an implant cleaning the first five months. Um, I got these perms like at the five month mark. So at that point I had a new set, new O-rings and everything. And I was probably supposed to set up a cleaning, but for whatever reason I didn't get it. And then when COVID all started, things were just kind of pushed back, pushed back. And I was happy and like, you know, you just don't think about it. And it's the kind of thing, well, at least where we go, where I go, at Dr. Shatkin's office, it costs a hundred dollars to do your implant cleaning. It's recommended at least once a year, but it can be done more often if needed for certain like issues that, you know, I'll explain in a moment. Um, but so I hadn't done an implant cleaning. I, I, I feel like that's just because you know, the busyness of going back and forth and getting all the adjustments the first year, I kind of just put it on the back burner and didn't think about it. And I was like afraid of it because I hate dental cleanings. So this is a video for anyone that's afraid of these cleanings and you're putting it off and you don't want to get your implants cleaned because you're afraid it's going to hurt. Please go get your implant cleanings. Like don't put it off. I don't know if it gave me any issues or not, but I do know that it's a good thing to be on top of it. And I am going to be committed now to making sure I do all my cleanings when I'm supposed to. I'm not going to get behind because I just can't, it's too expensive to let this, you know what I mean? You can't just let too much time go by. I can't fall into my old patterns and habits of like avoidance when I feel nervous about something new. It's just new. Like we just don't know what's going to happen. So it's easy to like, just, eh, you know, no one's like pushing you to do it. We're full grown adults. They're not going to say you have to do it. So you have to make yourself do it. Um, so if you're going to get implants done, make sure you're fully committed to everything that goes along with it, including all the follow-ups and all the cleanings and all that kind of stuff. But so I'm going to show you what I or I'm going to explain to you how it went, what it felt like. And then I'm going to show you a little shopping haul at the end for the ladies and anyone that likes shopping. Just a little one on the way home. So I'll show you what we got. So first of all, um, I went in there and her name, the lady that was taking care of me, that my hygienist, her name was Mar Marina, I believe. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. I loved her accent. Uh, I'll try to say it like once I can remember something she said, I'll talk like her. <laughs> Maybe you guys will be able to know where she's from. I, I'm not sure if it's like Czechoslovakia, Russian. She was like, for you, you come every three months, every three months for you. <laughs> that was her accent. That's how she talks. She's awesome. I forget. I loved this lady. So let me tell you about her. So she brought me back. Um, the first thing I really liked is that she talked to me and asked me like, you know, a little bit about my experience and how I was feeling, how I already take care of them, that kind of stuff. Um, she looked, you know, looked me right in the face and everything. When she took my teeth and had me give her the teeth, I think first she had me do a mouth rinse and it was like blue. So that's the first thing she told me to do was swish that around. So I did. And I must've made a face because she was like, oh, strong. And I was like, I spit it out and was like, yeah, it hurts. Actually, it burns. But like all mouthwashes, they burn my tongue. And I said, my tongue always hurts. It's really sensitive ever since I got dentures. Even ketchup is too spicy. And she was like, oh, really? Well, that shouldn't be like that. And I said, well, I just thought it was like that because I have dentures. I just figured that's normal. <laughs> uh, I don't know. But so then um, she said, no, no, I don't like, I don't like that. <laughs> and then she looks at my tongue and you know had like a kleenex she was trying to wipe it off and stuff because it had like the white this white film on it so 
that was what I was kind of worried about. I didn't know if I was having like a thrush, like a yeast issue, because I've heard that if you have dentures that don't fit right, even if they're on implants, like there could be levels of unevenness. You know what I mean? Even if they feel good to me, like they're good enough or whatever, if they're not exactly right, they can cause issues. And one problem they can cause are yeast infections. I think it's just the overgrowth of that bacteria or whatever that is. Um, and thrush can be painful. Like that can show up as white patches on your tongue. So, and it can also, I've heard, cause the corners of your mouth to crack open, which I've been struggling with ever since, I feel like ever since I got these teeth, which has been over a year. Thankfully, in the last month or two, I got them to, to heal and I'm no longer, I don't have those scabs there anymore. But for whatever reason, my tongue was like bright freaking white this morning. All right, so now it looks way better. Um, let me try to show you. You see the white stuff there and like I can try to scratch it off. It does start to hurt. It's like literally stuck on my tongue. It doesn't come off. I don't know what happened to all the rest of it because it was worse when I was in there. That's why she was concerned and she said, well, I can't say too much. The doctor will. Phone got full of storage. Lovely. All right, let's try this again. And I do apologize in advance if you hear cartoons. It's coming from the other room. My babies are laying down to go to sleep watching a movie. Um, okay, so my tongue did look a lot worse this morning. It was really white. Um, so she gave me a few things to use and she had Dr. Shatkin come in. Well, that was after. All right. So first I'll tell you how she did the cleaning. How about that first? So to do the cleaning, she had me hold the suction and she showed me how everything felt first, like on my hand. So it wasn't anything, um, like too surprising, you know, like when they just blast you with something, you're not expecting it. Um, my gums and my implants aren't really sensitive or anything. Nothing hurts right now. So I wasn't really too worried about pain. I guess it's just more like in your memory. You remember what it feels like when your natural teeth are getting scraped around the gum line and it's not the best feeling. It's kind of like gives me, it gives me the chills thinking about it like nails on chalkboard. <laughs> I freaking hate that. Uh, so anyways, that was the only thing I was a little nervous about, but it wasn't really like that. So you still feel that little, um, the drill type of feeling like the zzz, 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 zzz. like I could feel it going zzz, zzz, zzz like right around the tops of the implants, kind of scraping them. And I was holding the suction. So if I had to get excess spit out, I could do it myself. So I didn't even mind. Like that's actually kind of nice to be able to do yourself. Uh, and then she had the little water sprayer and she was spraying up on, you know, scraping and then spraying the water and get everything cleaned out. Um, that was about it though. And then I, I actually, I remembered that I keep forgetting to do something. So these teeth, I've always noticed on this side when I would smile big, there was like a little bit darker area there than on this side. And it was like a orangey-ness in the acrylic. And it like just came too far down on the teeth and made them look dirty in between the teeth, like two or three teeth. So I just asked her, I said, is there any possible way that you can, you know, like shave that off or file it off just because it really doesn't, it doesn't look good when I smile and certain pictures, you can really see it, you know, and I want to keep these forever. So um, she said, sure. And she took them, took to it, started working on them, scraped it off. And now it doesn't look like that. There's like nothing. Let's see how close I can get. It used to be here and here, all in there. There's none on that side though. Um, I'm so freaking impressed. Like when they tell you it just gets better, it really does. So I'm so thankful. I'm so glad she could do that for me. I wasn't sure how hard it would be or if it would mess the teeth up or like, you know, I wasn't sure if they could fix it. So yay. So if anyone else has that problem and you see a little bit too much acrylic coming down, it's like see-through, but a little like, it's hard. It looks like plaque. If you see that on your dentures, ask them about it. They should be able to remove it for you. Um, and then she had did all that, I think. And then she had Dr. Shatkin come in, um, asked how I was doing. And she told him she was concerned about my tongue. So he looked at the tongue and he said, did anyone ever tell you I have geographic tongue? And I said, no. And he said, well, that's probably what it is. They can't be a hundred percent for sure, but it's mostly caused by dry mouth. Like with dentures, they can cause dry mouth and the dry mouth itself is what can cause the bacteria buildup and all those kind of problems. So, um, my new routine is going to be a little bit different now to incorporate some new products that she gave me that should help my geographic tongue. 
Uh, it's not super painful, but like I said, it's really sensitive to spicy things and even just ketchup sometimes is like hurts my tongue. It just depends on the day. Sometimes just hot, like something hot, it, it feels really hot. It's just super sensitive. Um, so, and, and then he checked on the implants and the new implants and they, they looked good. And he said, so are we doing a TikTok today? I was like, don't freaking tempt me. And he was like, no, let's do it. Let's do it. I was like, okay, well, you got to give me my teeth back first because I don't think I even had my teeth. And he's like, oh, okay. He's like, well, I got to see a patient. So maybe next time. So next time I'm going to have an idea already in mind so that we can do something fun because I really have to think of a good idea. Like what kind of TikTok would people want to see like a dentist do with their patient? Or I'm excited just because that means maybe we'll be able to do other kinds of videos like office tours, um, interviews with the dentist or like, um, questions and answers or commonly asked questions, or I don't know, it's fascinating. People want to see it, you know, I want to see more of it. So it's just cool that maybe that opportunity will be there at some point, but I just, I'd love to just make one TikTok, just one. That would be awesome. So we'll see what happens. Um, but so he had to run to his patient. So I was with Marina and she gave me this, this new stuff for my teeth and explained how to use it. So I'll show you what I got. So I got to pick, I got to pick a new denture brush and purple is my jam lately. So I got a purple one. Then I've never had one of these. This is an implant brush, an implant toothbrush. And I love yellow. Reminds me of the sunshine. So this is a different kind of toothbrush. It's kind of hard to tell, but it has loops in it. Look how cool. I've never had such a thing. This is why you have to go to your cleanings. Don't wait too long. Go see what kind of cool stuff they have. So anyways, you have to put your, um, the implants have to go in the middle of this thing. And then you're not, you don't have to use any denture paste. She said, this is just to brush the implants. And it's got like other things here. And then these loops, like it's very interesting, different. So that's really cool. So this is for my implants. The purple one is for my um, my dentures. And then we have, this is what she had me try in the office when the other blue regular one was way too painful. She said, this is what she wants me to use. So this is called Biotin Dry Mouth Oral Rinse, Soothing Moisturization, Immediate Symptom Relief that lasts for up to four hours, alcohol-free. So I like this stuff. She wanted me to use it while I was there to make sure it wouldn't hurt my tongue. Um, and like, honestly, it feels like lube in your mouth. It feels slippery, like lubrication, which is pretty much what it is. So you can actually use this with your teeth in your mouth. You don't have to have them out to use it. You don't have to have implants or anything. Anybody that has a dry mouth um, and suffers with dry mouth, like even just from sleeping with your mouth open, but especially when you have dentures for some reason, we typically suffer with a drier mouth and I don't know why maybe someday I'll, I'll know why but this is supposed to help and I did try it and it did feel like lube and I did notice like an instant improvement in the way my mouth and everything felt even my tongue my geographic tongue um it just it definitely felt moisturized I love it so if you have that problem or if you're getting your lips are cracked all the time you're getting sore spots or you're getting like you know the any white stuff on your tongue that just kind of hurts and won't come off, try this. And then the other thing that she said it, um, to do, let's, so the other thing she said to do is to start taking my teeth out at night, like three times a week to get and soaking that, the teeth and not wearing them to bed. So as you know, for the past almost two years, I've slept with my teeth every night and I, I've loved being able to do that. But Oddly enough, this is why like, I feel like I always tell people like trust your instincts on things because for some reason in the past few months, I've been feeling this real need to be able to accept myself without my teeth and be able to be okay with it in front of my family, in front of the internet, in front of myself, looking at myself without my teeth, talking without my teeth. So I've been making more TikTok videos that way, showing myself without my teeth. And it's not just for me. I mean, I want it to help other people too, but like doing it myself, putting it out there obviously is helping me overcome that huge obstacle of self-acceptance uh, that I feel like comes in waves, and like ebbs and flows. You know what I mean? We all go through it. And I've just had this strong urge to be okay with it. And I've met such amazing people on TikTok that are just brave, 
amazing gabby warrior princess for one you need to look her up like that girl is seriously amazing she lost her teeth because of cancer and chemo and she's just one of the most incredible people i have ever come across so please go check her out she's amazing such a kind soul um encourages and motivates and inspires so many other people like she couldn't believe it when i told her she's so inspiring to me she's like me and i was like yes you like you're you're the queen <laughs> i love her but you got to check her out she's amazing um so but what, what was i saying so now that they're telling me you know you might have to go half the week without your teeth at night you know sleeping next to your husband uh and it's okay with me like i can do that no big deal that's awesome so this is kind of why i've been saying you know work on it because there may come a time when you do have a setback and you're gonna have to sleep without your teeth or you know whatever the thing may be um but so this is what she gave me for the overnight she gave me this polydent the overnight whitening tablets and so ironically also that's everything they gave me at the dentist um except for this one other thing and ironically i just posted my denture cleaning routine for tiktok so they could see how i clean my teeth and now it's changing i'm gonna have to do another one so i am gonna do a little giveaway here on this page just in the comments um and i will show you what i'm gonna give you um i'll show you this first this is something i got this is the tooth and gums tonic dental herb company and that marina said this is way too strong for me right now because of my tongue so i might have my husband try it because he has some issues with his gums and they're and he's got his two front teeth are pinned up in there um, and he's got some gum issues, like I said, but it's alcohol-free, non-staining, antimicrobial, but I guess it's really strong. So that's from Dr. Shatkin's office, but saving this one until we can use it. And then this is what I'm going to be giving away to one person. And I might throw a couple other little things in there, but this is the Stain Away Antibacterial Denture Cleanser, five minute action, whitens dentures like new, recommended number one by thousands of dentists. Um, but this is the one that I use for my quick bath every morning. I love it. And then I also use fresh and bright denture cl cleaning paste. And this has a free brush inside. So I'm going to be giving this away to one person. All you have to do is write a, leave a comment. And in the comment, just let me know a little about yourself, where you are in the treatment process. And that's it. And I'm going to draw the winner for this giveaway. I will draw the winner. Let's do it on, well, let's see. How long should we leave her up? Thursday, March 4th. I will draw the winner by using random comment picker. And I will pick someone in the comments. And I will, um, you know, comment below and let you know where to message me with your information so I can send your prize. I just want to give back to everybody and I hope that I can give a little bit of something to someone to try and see if you guys like it or if you're new or if you're not from around here and you can't get these products you know maybe you'll get to try something new um and if you don't want to be entered into the contest but still want to comment just put it in parentheses say not entering contest so it's the best of both worlds um all right are you guys ready though i think that's it for the dental update i go back oh that was the only thing so i go back in three months it could have been a year but because of my tongue and you know sensitivity and everything that's going on she wants to see me every three months every three months until you are doing better so i said okay i'll be back in three months um and that's the only thing that i've ever had to pay for is that the implant cleaning is a hundred dollars to change the o-rings is supposed to be a hundred dollars but they have never charged me for the o-rings and currently they have a special going on right now so the o-rings i don't think were they weren't charging anyone for them so i did have to pay for my cleaning and it was well worth it and it didn't hurt and i'm really glad i got it done so i hope that's encouraging to other people it does not hurt holla freaking luya you can finally find some kind of dental cleaning procedure that doesn't hurt <laughs> who knew all right and after after i went you know after i had to give myself a reward for being a good brave soldier <laughs> who am i kidding i'm a shopaholic but i do it for you i freaking promised i just do it for you <laughs> all right we went to mac and Victoria's Secret. We went to the Galleria Mall, which is my favorite mall. For anyone that lives in our area, the Galleria, oh my god, I don't know why. I just freaking love that mall. I don't know, but it's like the biggest one around. All right, so the first thing that caught my eye at MAC, anyone that, um, 
all my ladies. Oh, anybody that loves all the girly stuff, the hauls, the makeup and stuff, please come find me on Facebook on Princess Glitterhead. We do girls night lives there. We do hauls, we do makeup. And then my beauty channel on YouTube is Princess Glitterhead. So I would love it if you guys can find me there. We do a lot more stuff like this there. But I'm putting it here too because I know that girls that wear dentures like makeup too. So it's just going to be here. But these are some lashes I found. I've never bought MAC lashes. So these are a little expensive for me. I think they were $18. <laughs> I feel bad to say that. Um, I don't know. I hope they're amazing. <laughs> I usually just get mine from like Walmart and the drugstore. I think these are A50. And I think I'm going to have to trim them. But I just really like the spacing. And I think they're going to be really sexy. So the ones I have on right now, actually, these are Salon Perfect. I trimmed them, but they're Salon Perfect 663. And I like these ones a lot too. And then the other thing I got, since I just did my really super quick makeup routine today in the morning, and I did it on Facebook Live. If you want to check out the replay, it's on Facebook. And I did just my concealer routine and like my powder, and it's all MAC stuff, which is why I was thinking, I'm going to show you. I'll show you a little bit if I can find it. Oh, yeah. oh no, 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 no. Tell me it's lost. Is it lost? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Thought we lost it. Okay, so my normal routine I usually use MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and NW20 best concealer ever. I use this to prime my eyelids. Like I use it as a primer, but it's a concealer. So it brightens my lids, gets rid of any redness and darkness. Love it. Use it for my dark circles. I used it for my makeup today. We have no primer, no foundation. I literally use this concealer in the middle of my face, under my eyes and on my eyes. And, and then I used my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. This is the best powder ever. It gives like a sat, matte satin finish, even without foundation. It's amazing. I have the shade Medium Plus. It's a little pricier, but it's so worth it. But so I already had these two Holy Grail products. Um, so I wanted to try the Studio Fix Foundation. I've never tried. I think this was $33. That's yeah, a little pricey considering my actual favorite foundation is literally only five dollars literally it's five dollars i'm not really a high-end snob my favorite of the year was wet and wild photo focus in soft beige this is what i use like all the time but for for today we wanted i was gonna you know i want to do a whole mac face and see how it looks and if it's amazing or not that wet and wild foundation is five bucks and it's amazing you should try that one for sure anyways then this is nc17 i've never been color matched in the foundation Let's see if they're close. This is like my perfect shade. And I feel like it's a little peachy or golden. And this is a little yellower. But I think they're pretty close. What do you think? But I think they'll be good. But we'll see. We'll see. And if it's not the right shade, they always have someone to help you there. So if it's not the right one, they do take it back, which is nice. So you don't have to be stuck with it. Um, okay. So that was that. And then after that, I have like a lot more haul stuff that I want to show you guys. And we went away for Valentine's Day. We got a lot of sexy stuff, but you can see that on my Instagram. You can see it on my TikTok. I did post a few TikToks. I'm half tempted though to post our whole weekend vlog form, upload it to YouTube, even though it's in story form, like with the up and down video, it's not widescreen. Would you guys like to see it, even if it's not related to dentures? Or do you think I should just put it on my beauty channel? So I want to make it a movie for us, for our memories anyways. But I shared our Valentine's weekend last year. You guys got to see. Um, so I don't know. Let me know if you have opinions. Uh, we went to Victoria's Secret Pink next. And they had a sale, like a deal going. If you spent 85 you got free flip-flops and a free backpack thing. <laughs> so of course we got flip-flops and a backpack. Of course, I'm just, because I'm a sucker. But my daughter, actually my oldest one, needs a backpack like this, so I think I'm going to give it to her. It's like a cute for the beach and the gym or whatever. I love the mini backpacks. They're just really convenient. And then we got, let me see. And I got this because the oversized, big oversized t-shirts are in, st in style kind of now, so they have a whole bunch of them. They're just one size. They're really soft. And this one reminded me of the year we've had. I am strong. You are strong. We are strong. 
but we are strong together. I love it. So that's cute. Just nice and comfortable. And then this was really the reason I went in there because I saw this last time and I didn't get it. And I almost got it in hot pink, but I found, then I found this. So it's a little set, but it, oh my, look how sexy. So cute. So you got your little sports bra and then you got the high, these are high-waisted. If you haven't tried the high-waisted stuff, you need to. It's very flattering. It's literally, it makes you look like a little sexy curvy hourglass, even if you're not, because I don't really have much wide hips, but I like to pretend. <laughs> but I love that little outfit. I don't know if I'll work out in it or just, you know, look like I work out in it, but <laughs> whatever, it'll do. All right, and then the last few things are just some little girly, girly things. We got this sweet summer one with all these little things on it. It's got like a, the dog, rainbow. That one reminds me of high school. And then I got this warm and cozy. These were on sale for $3.99. So I got the warm and cozy, which smells very warm and cozy. And I got the, ma the matching warm and cozy lotion. It says soft vanilla, toasted coconut, and passion fruit for the, the smell. It's a beautiful smell. I always get these when they're on sale. Can't pay, I can't pay full price for stuff. Barely ever. I, I rarely, I almost always shop sales, discounts, and coupon codes. And um, that and sales. And clearance. This is the Coco Dream Lip Scrub. We got her because I had to add like $2.99 um, to get something free. <laughs> but it's cute. It's got little polka dots. And it's a lip scrub, so I can't wait to try that. I've heard the Victoria's Secret ones are really, really good. All right. And then I'm going to show you... I'll show you ladies what is on my list today because I will put the link for this down below in case the ladies haven't heard yet. What's on my lips today is my favorite lip liner. This is Sand Beige by NYX. And then this is my favorite lippy. It's almost gone by Live Glam and it's lavish. These are waterproof lippies that you can overline your lips with and you can eat and drink with and they do not budge. They don't get on your teeth. I mean, um, like granted, they do have a few different kinds of formulas. They have shiny ones, they have glosses, but the matte waterproof ones like this, don't budge, don't get on your teeth. They're freaking perfect. They're from Live Glam and I get mine through their subscription. It's $20 a month. You get three of these a month, but when you sign up, if you use my link, you get to pick a fourth one for free or a free Morphe brush of your choice. And there's a new collection of these every month. They're always really, really pretty. Let me show you these ones. So like, if you liked this collection, even though this isn't this month's collection, look at them and how pretty these are, you can still get them because they let you trade. So you can trade for any past collection. You can trade just one and keep two and get a different one, or you can trade all three and there's just no going wrong with it you can skip any month if you don't want to do it and it's only 20 dollars a month um but so if you're interested in that check out my links down below you get to pick a free one so you would get four or more live glam has sent sent us like quite a few times they send extras in our subscriptions which is really cool just extra free brushes or an extra lippy here and there i love their company really really cool like you just can't go wrong I have a whole collection I'm gonna do a video with that too but okay and then well I think that is it I will save the the more risque stuff for Instagram <laughs> but if you want to see more of what we did for our sexy date night stuff a lot of that is on Instagram there's a bunch of videos on TikTok and we'll see if I can make a movie I will post it and then you guys can just come with us and see our whole time and celebrate with us even if we don't talk about teeth because we're still people, right? And that's just what people do. Um, but I think that's it. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. If you want to enter this giveaway, it's open until next Thursday. I believe we said March 4th. Did I say that right? I have a bad memory, but... Yes, it's open till March 4th. So anybody that wants to enter for the Stain Away and the Fresh and Bright... This is the giveaway. All you have to do is leave a comment down below saying enter me and tell me a little bit about yourself and where you are in the process. And that's it. And if you leave a comment and don't want to be entered, just say don't enter me. And that's all. And I will mess I will comment under the winner the winner's message on the 4th. <laughs> I'm running out of words. It's been a long day. 
I think that's it. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Um, if you need prayers for anything, leave them down below. We can all help each other. That's what we're here for. And if I can just say one thing, just remember why you're doing this. You know, we're doing this to improve the quality of our lives. We don't put ourselves through this much pain, misery, and money to come out on the other side unhappy. So we have to be able to fight through all the hard, the hard times. The hardest times are what makes it even that much more worth it. So you just have to keep pushing. We're here to help each other. I'm here to help any way I possibly can. I will help you. Um, if you want to chat privately, feel free to email me. All my links and everything, where to find me is down below. And I can message people back on Instagram, so you can try there too. But otherwise, just leave me a comment down below, and I'm happy to visit and get to know everybody. But I hope you enjoy it. I hope this eases some fears about the process of cleaning implants. And if you have any questions or I left anything out, please let me know down below. If you have any questions, video suggestions, or any of that, leave it down below. But I guess that is it. I will let you go. I don't want to, though. Can you tell? I love all right. Okay. I love you. Follow me until you love me. All right. Okay. I love you. And I'll see you in my next video. <laughs>